I was thinking about why do African people across the diaspora, um, why is rice such a big part of the tradition? And in fact, the name of your company is called Mukuli? Mukuli. Which means? Rice. Okay. In a, in a Liberian um, dialect, it means rice. The dialect is Loma. Let's start cooking. So um, okay. explain to me what's, what's happening with the seasonings and, and, and everything. I'm so excited to be making, learning how to make jollof rice today because uh, I have to tell you that my, my oldest son Jamal came to your house about yeah. three or four years ago um, and he came back with a bowl of this, this beautifully prepared <laughs> dish and he's like, Mom, you gotta learn how to make this. Mm -hmm. I tasted it and Carvo, I have to tell you that um, I have been trying to recreate this for a really, really long time. Really? Yeah, so. Okay, we're going to start by seasoning our, our meat. You could use any kind of meat. Some people like to use fish. They uh, debone the fish and they could use it, fry it up and you can use it. I'm, I personally like to use chicken. You could also use beef. In my country, Liberia, most of the food we cook, we cook with mixed meat. It's rare that you'll find a dish that has only chicken in it. Most time you're gonna find chicken, a little bit of seafood, a little bit of meat, all in one dish but for today just for this cooking we're going to use chicken i usually like to season my meat overnight that that way when you cook it's really tasty as you can see this is already seasoned it's been seasoned for like two hours now and ready to cook and these are the seasoning that i use i use uh the adobo goya uh, all-purpose seasoning put some little black pepper in it some garlic and uh, some onions also and those are what I use to season the chicken the next thing we're going to do is to steam the chicken and kind of fry it I have about three cups of rice here. We're going to boil the rice. So I'm going to use two pots. The rice is going to be cooking in one. And I'm going to steam the chicken in the other one. Okay. I'm going to cut some onions up and put it on this. So give it extra gravy. The jello rice is like cooking the rice by itself and the stew by itself and you combine the both of them and make one dish. It's about three three cups of water I'm using and I'm going to be using three cups of rice. In the rice I'm going to add tomato paste and in the stew I'm going to add tomato sauce. The paste for the rice is just to give the rice the color, the red color. The sauce is to give it a thick gravy. Do you ever use like fresh tomatoes or do you prefer to use the paste and the, the sauce? I like to use fresh tomatoes but then I have to put it in the food processor and puree it. Mm -hmm. And you, you get a better gravy. As a matter of fact, like back home where we, we a lot of us don't have, I mean, we don't have all of these seasoning. You buy your fresh, your fresh spices and you put them in the blender and just blend it up. It's even better than all of these things here. Okay, you so I was wondering up. about that. So you would buy fresh ginger, um, fresh oregano, um, fresh, fresh garlic. Fresh basil. Okay. All of that and just put it in the blender, blend it up and add it to the food and then you don't have all, you only use, um, you only use these maybe to season the meat up. But some people, like for me, when I, when I blend all of these uh, seasonings or all of these herbs, I like to season my meat with it. It's even, it, it's, it's, it has more taste and flavor than if you use all of these because these are all processed and 
have other chemicals added, but it, when you use like a fresh basil leaf, mm -hmm. mm, the scent is so strong. <laughs> Some people will say I have to wash my rice four times. I like to do it four times. Some people like to do it three times. Some people wash their rice until the, the color of the water is clear. To the pot. So African food is known as being very spicy. Um, I didn't. I don't see any hot spices for today's preparation. Can you talk a little bit about that? Or is, uh, yeah. Not all Africans eat spicy food. Not all Africans. Like in my country, that you have one tribe that don't eat pepper at all. Then I'm, I come from the tribe that eat the most pepper. We have a stew that we make that is all just pepper. But not all Africans eat hot stuff. Some countries don't eat pepper at all. I noticed that um, people from Bermuda don't seem to have like a lot of spice, um, a lot of hot spice, I should say. Like Kenya, right? In East Africa, mm -hmm. they hardly eat hot pepper. But the people from East Africa, they don't eat too much hot, hot spices. For West African, that's where you find all the hot spices. Nigeria, Sierra Leone, Liberia, Ghana, mm -hmm. all hot stuff. Well, that came right to uh, America because <laughs> yes. in the American South, um, the, the food is, is we, we love our hot sauce. <laughs> okay, I'm going to add the paste down to the rice to give it color. This rice is going to be cooking about maybe in the next 15 minutes. I just, my, my preference is jasmine rice. You can use any kind of rice you want to. You could either fry the chicken or you can put it in the oven and bake it. But so steaming it is not enough cooking? No, you want it to get hot a little bit. You want the meat to be firm. Mm -hmm. The chicken meat to be firm. And so otherwise when you're stirring it into the rice, it's going to break up. So most time with this new revolution, the <laughs> air fryer, I just stick it in the air fryer or quickly you could just fry it. But because I don't want oil and all of that on it, I just like to stick it in the air fryer, okay. which is quicker. And then I can just put it back in here. You know? Okay, at this point I'm going to add my mixed vegetable. This is our all-purpose seasoning. Everybody uses this in their cooking. So I put one cube in there. If you're looking to have like a very saucy gravy, that's why I like to use this. Would you ever use fresh garlic? Yeah, I can use that. Okay. The meat is yes. kind of harder that way when I'm stirring it into the rice it's going to stay intact okay, I'm going to just put everything in the gravy here So good. <laughs> You're gonna take half of these. This is your food. Oh, oh, oh.
Our jello rice is just mixing it up together now. Some people prefer to have the rice served by itself and they add the, the stew to it later as they eat. Mm -hmm. But the real jello rice when you buy it in the restaurant, it comes mixed already. In fact, that's the only way that I've ever had it. Makes right. Otherwise, it just looks like um, chicken stew on top of rice. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it looks delicious. And it smells so good also. <laughs> Rice is one of those foods that I can't stop eating. I, I love it so much. You work for this. 